Okay, on the subject of uh, media and African Americans, uh, a lot of you are commenting on media stereotypes and the white savior and things like that, but also looking at how African American people are often depicted as, you know, homeless or drug dealers, all the stereotypes. One thing, though, I don't think that I mentioned is the other, uh, what I call the, um, the exceptional Negro. And what you do is you have a movie that the star is an African-American, but he's African-American or she's African-American in name, or just looks. You could have, you could replace the role with anybody else, white, Chinese, Indian, anybody, and it wouldn't matter. So you basically, you strip the person of their blackness. They're the only black person in the movie, but they have all white friends usually, and their mannerisms and their, their proclivities are all basically neutral, bland, or basically white. Good example, well, I wouldn't say good, but uh, an example that sticks out in my mind is Eddie Murphy in um, <clears throat> Beverly Hills Cop. Go back and watch that movie. In Beverly Hills Cop, he's a black cop who, what, the plot is basically his best friend gets murdered, right, in L.A., so he goes to investigate the murder. The best friend is white. The other friend that he grew up with, the, the female, the white woman, she's white, oh, well, she's white, and the cops that he befriend befriends the two cops that he befriends are they're, they're white the, the police captain they're white Eddie Murphy is pretty much the only black character in that movie so that's an example of how you take a character and you remove his blackness you kind of use you explore his blackness because the black people are going to go see it because it's Eddie Murphy but for the most part there's nothing black about him I'm trying to think of another example that oh, I mean you know not just in movies, but you know, you can see this with Michael Jordan, Oprah, other celebrities where people say, well, they, they transcend race. What you do is you remove the black person from his blackness. Oh, Will Smith in um enemy somebody mentioned enemy of the no, they mentioned Will Smith. Um it was uh, oh pursuit of happiness. But enemy of the state is just like that. And he has a black wife, I'll give him that, and black kids, but that's it. His friends are white. Um yeah. His co-workers are white. Gene Hackman, the co-star, he's white. Everybody, and, and, and Will Smith is pretty much black. I mean, white, if you just look at his mannerisms, there's nothing black about him. He doesn't mention anything specifically black. For the most part, it's just he's just a, a black man playing a role that could have been played by a, a white man. So that's the what I call the, you know, the exceptional Negro exclusion you just exclude him from blackness and just put him in a movie and forget that he's black